rise. Mr. Saxondale. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, a white horse walked into a bar, and the barman said, Hey, we've got a whiskey named after you. And the horse said, What, Bill? <laughs> I'm not deaf, but you laughed at that shit joke because you thought I was. Shame on you. And um, shame on me for doing that deaf voice. So let's not be swayed by impediments, aural or stick-based. <coughs> Are you uh, familiar with the term musical theatre? I'd say so, yes. Uh, you'll doubtless be familiar with the spectacle of Greece, one of the more venerated examples of the genre. Yes, I know Greece very well as it happens, yes. You know Greece very well as it happens, yes. Correct me if I'm wrong, but there is, is there not a scene in which the melodically inclined garage mechanics take part in the renovation of a motor vehicle, pimping, if you will, the car into something the members of the jury may be more familiar with as greased lightning? Yes, that's right, that's what happens. And the said mechanics leap from the bonnet of the car and whip out their combs to correct the inevitable dishevelment that occurs from such an athletic manoeuvre. Yes, that's right. And that you, in August of last year, as a member of the Abbots Langley Amateur Dramatic Society, in the theatrical guise of one of the uh, aforementioned fellows, did perform this very manoeuvre with, I have it on very good authority, no small measure of aplomb. That's right, I did. I, I played duty. You played duty. A man with a walking stick, propelling himself from the bonnet of a 1946 fat-fendered Ford Coupe? Well, I'm not disabled. Ah! You're not disabled. Then I'm sure the ladies and gentlemen of the jury would love to know why you feel the need to use a walking stick. Well... Not it's... trying to play the sympathy card, are you? Hmm? Tiny Tim? No. I put it to you that you are not Tiny Tim, but that I am Bob Cratchit and you are the... Ghost, the ghost whose name escapes me. Um, what's it? The, the from Christmas Carol, the, the, the one with the uh, ghost of Christmas present. No, the one with the chains. Casper. Casper. Sorry. C can you strike that stuff from the record, please, Your Honour? Can you explain to the court why you use a walking stick? Yeah. I dislocated my knee last week playing in a charity football match. You dislocated your knee last week playing in a charity for football match. Mr. Saxondale, can you tell me where this line of inquiry is leading? He just sought, um, really sought to illustrate, Your Honour, that he played in a charity football oh. match and hurt his knee. To what end? To what end, precisely? Because, 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 not because of the wonderful things he does. Ha, 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 but because... He, well, uh, because, ah, yes, that's it, because whatever grave injustice he carried out at the train station, do not demonise this man. He's not a monster. I merely ask you to consider that he may be a bit of a dick. <laughs>